So we have a good idea now on the basics of EC2 and how it can help with any compute needs, like making coffee. Well, like metaphorically making coffee. The coffee represents the whatever your instance is producing. The next thing we want to talk about is another major benefit of AWS, scalability and elasticity, or how capacity can grow and shrink based on business needs. Here is the on-prem data center dilemma. If your business is like 99% of all businesses out in the world, your customer workloads vary over time, perhaps over a simple 24-hour period. Or you might have seasons where you're busy and weeks that are not in demand. If you're building out a data center, the question is, what is the right amount of hardware to purchase? If you buy for the average amount, the average usage, you won't be wasting money on average. But when the peak loads come in, you won't have the hardware to service the customers, especially during the critical moments that you expect to be making all your results. Now, if you buy for the top max load, you might have happy customers, but for most of the year, you'll have idle resources, which means your average utilization is very low. And I've seen data centers with average utilization under 10% just out of fear of missing peak demand. So how do you solve the problem on-premises? Well, the truth is you can't. And here is where AWS changes the conversation entirely. What if you could provision your workload to exactly the demand every hour, every day? Well, now you have happy customers because they can always get the services they want. And you have a happy financial officer because they get the ROI your company needs. And here's how it works. Morgan is behind the counter. She's taking orders. And we have a decoupled system. Morgan isn't doing all of the work here, so we need somebody making the drinks. Looks like Rudy's up. Now, the first problem I want to solve is the idea that we plan for a disaster. There's a great quote by Werner Vogel that says, everything fails all the time. So plan for failure and nothing fails. Or in other words, we ask ourselves, what would happen if we lost our order-taking instance? Well, we'd be out of business until we could get another person to work the line. Or, sorry, another instance up and running. So here is where AWS makes it really simple. Using the same programmatic method we used to create the original Morgan, we can create a second Morgan. So if one fails, we have another one already on the front line and taking orders. The customers never lose service. Well, and don't forget about the back end. Let's make our processing instances redundant as well. So that gets our regular operating capacity. We now have a highly available system with no single point of failure. And as long as the number of customers in line stays the same, we're good. But you know that's gonna change, right? So let's take a look at what's going to happen when we have a rush of customers, an increase in demand. Now, there are two ways to handle growing demands. You can scale up or scale out. Scaling up means adding more power to the machines that are running, which might make sense in a few cases, but think about it. When you have an increase in customers, a bigger instance of Morgan really can't take a customer's order any faster because that depends on the customer more than Morgan. I'll take an espresso. Oh wait, is that organic? Hmm, make it a soy latte. Uh, actually, I don't know. Do you just have tea? What we need are, well, more Morgans. Customers? Oh no, looks like the processing instances are about to get overloaded. So let's scale them as well. Obvious question is obvious. How come there are more order taker instances than order makers? Well, in this case, the amount of work you can get done is still more than the order machines can send your way. You don't have a backlog, so no reason to add more worker instances. This is one of the great things about decoupling the system. 
you can end up with exactly the right amount of power for each part of your process, rather than over-provisioning to solve a separate problem. Okay, looks like we just cleared that rush. Now here's where AWS really makes a difference to your business. All these extra workers that are now sitting around idle, if you don't need them, send them home or stop the instances. Amazon EC2 Auto Scaling adds instances based on demand and then decommissions instances when they are no longer needed. This means that every minute of the day, you always have the correct number of instances. Happy customers, happy CFO, happy architecture.